Hey, this is Zexty bringing you another Black Desert mobile guide. This one's just going to be a quick one over Merchant Guild delivery. Um, if you're not doing it, I highly encourage starting. If you are doing it, I'm just going to show you um, some quick points, uh, like a point calculator, and then I also want to show you how to uh, how I collect my points. Um, so I'm going to show you really quickly. Just this is the max rewards right here. So um, this is mainly the reason why I do it. The rewards are amazing and uh, it goes towards a lot of different things for your progression. So this is going to be a point calculator. I have the link in the description. Um, so if you want, you can always just open it, make a copy and then use it for yourself. But up at the top left, I have uh, items that I think are worth actually offering. So. Um, what I put is white fish, green fish, so all the different fish types, the lower tier glyphs, as well as um, the master resources, and then some fairy items. Because the fairy items, if you already have it maxed out for your brooch, you won't be using them for right now. Um, so the way this calculator works is just put in the number of uh, materials that you have, and then it'll calculate the total points that you have towards... Um, towards 1 million and 1 million points is going to give you that max reward that's kind of shown off to the right so um you can kind of gauge how many materials you need for that week based on what you already have so uh try to calculate it before you offer it and uh, you can track it this way so if you do want to use all the items the the calculator for all items is towards the bottom and it works the exact same way um, also that visual in the middle of the screen, that's going to show you how many total of that item you need for 1 million points. Um, the way I see it though, the bread and butter of, um, getting these points are through master resources and from fish. So I highly encourage using those. And then this is just again, kind of showing you what the max rewards are. Um, if you don't have a million points, say you have 700,000, you'll get um, 0.7 or I guess 70% of whatever these rewards are. Um, so it'll just kind of scale down based on, on what you had offered. Um, but again, these max rewards are pretty good. You get Twisted Time, you get some Chaos Cores, uh, you get some uh, roots as well and then um, some red crystals so this is really good for your progression you can get this once a week and then also I think that the, pro the process of getting these rewards or getting the materials um, it's pretty vital to your growth as well and I'll show you that here now that we're back in the game so like I said, um, my preference or the best way that I think to get these points is from these master materials. So I'm going to just show you where I go for each one um, because it is kind of, it's not super important where you get them, but it definitely is helpful to, to be farming for them in spots that, that will help you later down the road anyways. So starting out, I'm going to be talking about the powder of life which I farm in any um, Camasilvia, I think is how you say it, Camasilvia map with blue flowers. So my personal favorite is the Lemuria guard post. So if you're farming these blue flowers for harvesting, um, you can get glowing roots. So if you have these glowing roots, you can either use it towards your doom horse or you can uh, sell them on the market for a little bit of silver. Uh, while I'm doing this, I do use stamina potions, so getting these roots definitely helps you um, pay for those stamina potions because those stamina potions do cost silver. For the next one, we're going to be looking at the Dark Crystal Ore. So this is going to be in Camasilv Temple, which is in North Media. And actually, I'm just going to show you really quickly that. Um, this is where I, I get the glowing roots and it does show that it's a drop. You can get it from the monsters, but you can also get it from those blue, um, those blue lunar flowers. So here in Camasilv Temple in North Media, I'll be doing my mining. The reason I say that you should do it here is just because, um, there is a treasure item 
which has a component that drops from mining here. Um, you are gonna need your uh, your treasure pickaxe to actually get this item, but um, by mining here, you can get that um, that Saranta's powder, which um, is kind of a rare drop. So the earlier you start this, the better. Um, and then something I forgot to mention was I always use um, my pets that have um, life skill experience. So all of my pets have max life skill experience. Um, and that's just to boost my experience for these different skills. Uh, it's not really going to change how much uh, you get of these materials, but at least you're leveling up something. So for this last one, I am going to be showing where to get the sturdy lumber, which is in Southwest Calpheon, and it's going to be uh, Lake Kaya. So again, this is going to be a component for a treasure item, which is the Moretti bag, and then you can get the wave of the forest. You'll also need the treasure item axe, as well as chopping these yellow leaf trees, which I have another guide for. Um, another way you can get these is just from gathering with workers. Um, so you'll go in here, gather your resources, and then here you can also get these, um, either the powder or the ore or the lumber. So you won't get that much, you won't get nearly as much from, from farming it yourself, but also while I'm farming these materials, I always use the Artisan's Monument just so I can get a little bit extra experience as well. And then lastly, and again this is just me showing that I use these, uh, these pets to make sure I get extra XP. Um, for all of these materials, you are going to need at least master level uh, life skill. So get it to master and then you can start getting these. And then also for the treasures, you need master. But um, for the, the blue flowers, I don't believe you need the treasure item. I could be wrong, but um, I'll leave an edit in the description in case I am incorrect. Uh, the last one is going to be for fishing. So my favorite place is Velia, and then like all the other ones, I actually change my um, my pets, so that way I get the most fishing experience possible. And then something else that I do is I will swap my fairy skills to include that 10% chance of, um, of getting an extra fish. So I don't actually fish very often. Most of the time I'll do it like one night the whole night for one day out of the week. So I'll swap my my fishing skill for my fairy, and then the next day I'll get the points back, um, and then I'll I'll swap it back to whatever I have. So normally that's like black rock altar um, auto offering. So um, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, these rewards are really good. Those twisted times will help you get a higher level harmony stone. And as you can see, mine's a little bit higher. Um, and then the success rate does go down, but even if you get 10 per week, if you multiply that by the success rate, I have like a 50% chance to get uh, an upgrade every week, which is pretty good CP. Uh, and then early on, you'll definitely be flying through those levels. So I highly, highly recommend um, doing this if you're not doing it. And then if you are doing it, I recommend using that point calculator. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.